Well, how do there, chums? This is a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. And today, chums, I'm going to be talking about YouTube. This is more of a video for YouTube content creation. So, yeah, sorry if you're not a YouTube content creator, but this might not be the content for you, unless you're thinking about getting into doing YouTube content creation, because it could be a rather powerful video for people just starting out. Anyway, let's jump on over onto the old Tinter web, shall we, people inside the view of us, I guess. Chikapow! There I am, over on Tinter webs. So, when you go into content, Content from your actual YouTube studio, there is a new tab right here called Promotions Beta. When you go into here, you can actually set up a new promotion. You just follow this little simple wizard. There's only three steps to it. Yeah, your video, your targeting, and your budget. Just go through and set those. I mean, I'll show you how I've targeted mine in a moment. Like, yes. So you can see how I've got two promotions, one that's ended and one that is active. Right there, well, you want to see my stats. Let's just move me down here for a moment. There we go. Whoa, Nelly. That was like being in a dodgy lift. Made my stomach go funny. <laughs> Anyways, up here, so I've got one that's active and one that's ended. Can I zoom this in, actually, and make this a little bit larger for you guys inside of the view of us? I can, but now I probably need me to move me again, don't I? Yes, heck yes. Okay, well, we can set. Let's just move me a little bit further down. There you go. I'll stick me there. Okay, righto. So, I've got this one that's active. It's cost me £48 so far. That's the amount of impressions it's shown to viewers inside of the Viewerverse. And that's how many promotional views it's gained for that video. And that's the amount of subscribers that it's gained for that video. Now, these videos are already monetized as well. So, hopefully, those views have brought me in some revenue. We get onto the analytics in a bit because it doesn't overly work that way. <laughs> Okay, anyways, this one here has ended. I paid £75 total. That's how many views it got shown. That's how many views actually happened. And that's the amount of subscribers I got, which is a freaking lot of subscribers. But are they decent subscribers, I hear you ask? And what's so special about these two videos? Why have I used them? Both of these videos are my channel trailer. So if I go over to my channel on YouTube, so hit up here and go to view your channel, boom. The very first video that plays is one of those two videos. Uh, there, viewers and the viewer verse is a bit different. I'm going to be doing a recap of 2023. All my bestest bits. So one of my bestest bits was going to the Philippines, meeting Ivy's family and trying the loot. Here's an excerpt of that. Okay, right. So basically, what I've done is I've put together all my best bits of the year. Now, let's just view it here. Let's see if that works. Okay, here you go. So there you go. It's got my Philippines playlist, my Starfield playlist, and also my real or fake playlist. So basically, this video is being presented. It's saying these are the best bits of my year. Go hit up one of these playlists for which one of these things excites you the most so it's a traffic builder it's pushing people somewhere else on my channel for those free things and when i actually done the targeting on these free things you can see here because it mentions the philippines and my trip to the philippines i've put the countries that i wanted to target canada united kingdom philippines a united states okay so they're english speaking countries but the philippines isn't you get to select the language you want to add in there as well so i also put in tagalog because when i was in the philippines there was a lot of people talking tagalog anyway and my missus is from the philippines and she sometimes speaks tagalog or taglish so i'll put that in there a lot of my new subscribers off the back of this video are from the philippines i get into the analytics in a moment people but it's You've got to be very savvy with what you do. Now, the reason why I chose my channel trailer type um, videos is mainly because people hit my channel all the time. This auto plays. The the, these videos that I've targeted already have really re weird view stats and analytics, mainly because people click on my channel, then click on something down here. So this only plays for a brief moment anyway. The stats on my channel trailers are cack. I don't really overly care about the channel trailers. They're to get people to hit the subscribe button and look for the content they want. Either my Captain Steve vlogs or a game that I'm playing or one of my weird internet fun videos, the Captain Steve Talks videos. So I think promotions, when done right, 
when done like this, linked to your channel trailers, is very good. So every time that you change your channel trailer and maybe your channel direction, you back it up with a promotion to really push that new change to your channel, to drive people to that new content to where you're trying to branch out. It's very good if you're trying to experiment with your channel to move it in different ways. Where it's not good is if you just target one of your videos that's already blown up anyway, that people might not be interested in. Because what this promotion does is it actually takes this video and it puts it on the YouTube homepage every now and again for people. It's not driven by their search results. So people searching No Man's Sky, it's not going to throw up my promotional video. It's going to throw this up on the front screen. It needs to be quite a general video. If you're promoting a video for, say, No Man's Sky, which is quite a niche game that's only got a small audience, and you put it on the front screen of YouTube, and somebody then clicks it and goes, oh, actually, I'm not interested in this. This was a computer game. Uh. You know, that, that sort of thing. You've got to, to do it for videos that are all-encompassing of what you do and promote you as a person and you and your channel to somebody. You just want to get them to hit that subscribe button. And then I think this is a very powerful tool. I mean, if you was a generalised channel or something, um, then fine. Or if you're a cookery channel, everybody eats freaking food. So yes, it's going to work if you're a cookery channel. Or maybe if you're a travel channel. You know, it might work because people might want to... Be, go to that part of the world. So I think this is a very powerful thing for that, for very sort of diverse, encompassing channels. But for niche channels, promotions might not be the best thing to do. And you can see here from my actual analytics on one of these videos, this is the first one that I did. Actually, let's go to the other one where I wanted to push it to people, the one that's still active right now. Ah, we will do the one that's actually finished. So this one's finished. Okay, so that one grabbed me, what, an extra 43 subscribers, it's saying there. On the other screen, it said that it got me 100 and something odd subscribers but I think this is over the last 30 days or so you know but if you look at say engagement on this this is where things are a little bit different because audio retention the view duration for this was only 27 seconds now there's a reason for that you know as it comes up I'm pushing out different sort of things oh, I've done this this year I've done that this year hit this playlist hit this video people are probably clicking on those playlists to go watch the things that they want. So that's why the average view duration is probably down on there, you know? So it's very difficult to say whether... It's not good at boosting the revenue on this. If I look at the revenue on this video, it's earned me £2.32. pence, And the other one, if I look at that one and I go to the revenue on that one... It's earned me £2.56p. Nowhere even close to washing its face for the actual money I spent to push them. But that's not the reason I was pushing them. I was pushing these videos to say I do a lot more than just No Man's Sky and a lot more than just gaming. I'm now branching out. I'm doing Captain Steve vlogs. I'm doing Captain Steve talks. And I think they've worked for me. Um, because when I go and look at the playlists that I've actually linked into here, every single one of those videos in the playlists have had an uptick in views which is great. So yeah, I'll go get up one of the playlists and show you. So okay, this is my Philippines playlist. And as you can see here, the view counts on these have done fairly well. So yeah, I only just added this one in actually. This was the first one to the playlist and it's had 5,000 views, which is great. And then all of these, some of these I've just added into the playlist uh, uh, just recently. But this is my actual Philippines adventure. So yeah, a lot of them have got a little bit of a marked uptick in views and view count. And people, I think, are, are enjoying it. The only thing is you can't really view analytics on a blinking playlist, which sucks. That would be nice if they could do that, to be honest, just give us analytics on playlists. But there we go. I've seen a lot more traffic to my Philippines content and I must admit I've seen a bit more traffic from that region of the world in my analytics overall. So here we go, here's my channel analytics. Now if I've gone, I've gone on to audience, if I scroll down over here, the Philippines wasn't even in the sort of list but now it's at 9.9%. .9%. So it's worked for me. I've started to build up a little bit of a Philippines audience to my channel and that could be where the new subscribers have come from. I also noticed that uh, my watch time from those that have subscribed has crawled up a little but also I've got new people returning to my actual channel and hitting it up. I've also seen a slight increase in female people joining my channel. Hello, thank you for joining, lovely job. 
jubbly and subscribing, heck yes. And a slight marked in the lower sort of demographics. I mean, this is my No Man's Sky demographic here, really. You know, that's sort of where my main sort of driver of my channel traffic come from. But I've seen a rise in these two areas just from doing that promotion. So pretty good, I think. All round, I've seen a, a nice little uptick inside of my channel in areas where I didn't have an uptick before, which is quite good, I think. I mean, I hope. Fingers crossed. It's hard to say. Now, I am thinking of doing these sort of things maybe every season. So why am I thinking about doing these things every season? Well, I'm thinking of doing a new channel trailer every season, so every three months, do a new video that says, this is what I've been up to this quarter. These are the things that I think are gonna interest you. Go hit them up and then change my channel trailer for that video, you know, and then also promote that video. So if I do this every three months, hopefully it's going to keep my channel ticking over. I mean, before I started this promotion, I was on 32,000 subscribers. I've done it for a month. And that one promotion, although it's cost me nearly 150 pounds, it's brought to my channel an extra 2,000 subscribers that I wouldn't normally get. Now I've purposely done this experiment in a time where there were no updates to No Man's Sky. So it's quite a solid experiment for my channel to see if I can gain growth off the tail end of that. Now, if I'm gonna do the next one in three months time, it'd be interesting to see whether those new subscribers that have come to my channel results in additional views and to see if it builds in revenue. Now, you're probably thinking, well, 150 pounds is quite a lot of money to invest in your channel, Captain Steve. Well, I have got channel membership and I feel that that's going quite a long way to paying for it. Okay, so I've got my channel membership in the background. Let me just get off the screen for a second. I'll go over into that corner there. So my channel membership earns me about £102 in revenue per month. So yeah, it hasn't quite paid for that promotion that I've done this month. But in three months time, I'd have 300 quid sitting in the kitty, is how I'm looking at it. Now, if I take the money that the members are investing in me and my channel, to boost my channel in views, subscribers, and perhaps even membership, perhaps it might be something that's self-perpetuating and self-funding. You know, I do like to take that money, invest it into my channel though, get new cameras, get new mics, and or new games, or to go on vlogs or go on holidays and things to bring that to my channel and stuff like that, to see the world and go on day trips with Ivy. So it depends. It's, it's, it's you, I've got to get the balance right. But I think, I think I might be doing regular promotions every time I change my channel trailer because I am seeing a worthwhile benefit from it. And if it is something that I can use, the funding that people have given me, there's a good chance that I can use this sort of promotion to not only bring more to my channel and give my members more, but also my regular viewers more. So I, th I think it's working for me. I would strongly consider looking at promotions beta if you're out there, content creators, if you do it in a way that's not gonna damage your channel. And when I say not gonna damage your channel, if you're a niche channel, like you've only got No Man's Sky or you do, I don't know, Starfield or, or any other game that's quite niche, you only do horror games or something like that, Maybe if you only do horror games, maybe doing a promotion around Halloween and putting your horror, getting your horror game scene. Great idea, Halloween, lovely. But if you're doing something like Starfield or, or No Man's Sky, it's quite difficult to say, yeah, do a promotion because you're gonna get your video on the front screen of YouTube. And if you ever go to the home screen of YouTube, I mean, I'm gonna to have to go into incognito mode and go to the home screen so you can see what's on the home screen. One second. Okay, people, well, I'm in incognito mode. Reject off. I know one now, cookies. This is the front screen of YouTube, okay? So this is what any Joe Blogs is going to see when they sign in for YouTube if they're not signed in with their Google account and it's not looking for targeted ads or anything like that. My promotional video, if I was to hit refresh on this all freaking day, has got a chance to appear on here. A chance. You know, there's other people probably using 
the promotional thing to get theirs put on here. I'd imagine maybe these fireplaces ones are exactly that, you know, because why else would they be recommended? I mean, probably people are firing up the fireplace through Christmas, but that's a perfect time to do it. In the winter months, people want a live sort of screensaver of a fireplace. You'll probably find that they're using the promotion to push these videos out there. Lovely. Job done. Christmas songs. Exactly. That sort of stuff. Perfect for this time of year. Like I was saying to you, if you do horror games, using the promotion thing around Halloween would be perfect for you. Like, yes, it would, you know. But yeah, otherwise, you're going to be placed amongst all of these. If a No Man's Sky video appeared here, what's the chances of somebody just logging into YouTube and going, oh, what do you know? There's a No Man's Sky video there. I only just bought that yesterday. No, the chances are very slim. So I don't think this promotion is for everybody. You know, it, it's, it's, or is it? You can make it work for you. You can make it work for you if you're clever about it, people. I guess. So there we go. That's pretty much everything I've got for you on this whole promotion thing. And I hope it's helped you out in making a decision whether you feel it's time to actually invest and try to get your video pushed out there. But if you're a niche channel, I don't think it's going to overly work. I mean, there's a lot on here that I probably wouldn't click on, you know, and and that's going to be the same for anybody else coming in, isn't it? Pretty much. Anyway, people, that's pretty much everything I've got for you in today's episode. I'm going to go drink the rest of my lovely Fandangly tea. Yes, I've got my own brand of tea, shameless plug. And I've got this lovely mug. Another plug. Yes. Oh, but my tea is freaking nice. It's really relaxing. It's got oaky notes to it. Apparently, it came from the top of Himalayan mountains and stuff. Yes, you can find it on a website called cherizina.co.uk. UK. Thank you. Till next time, people. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.